Okay guys, this is what we're going to do this week. So hang tight and <laughs> it's long, but enjoy. What I've done is I've gone ahead and wet the leaf. What we're going to do again is wet on wet, but what I've discovered with this crazy dry weather is how quickly, oh my gosh, how quickly the water dries. Not only that, it takes a little more time to get paint, I mean to get the water on the paper because by the time you're at one end, the other half of your painting is already dry. So what I've done is I've skipped that tedious step. You don't need to watch that for this watercolor video. And what I've done is I'm, what I've done, what I'm doing <laughs> is I'm just touching, well that one I swiped, didn't I? I'm just touching the corner, each of the corners, and letting the water do its thing. On the other video I recorded for you guys, because the weather was so hot and dry, it just wasn't behaving well. And so this really cool effect you're supposed to be able to get, that you see right now, just wasn't happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop that in, maybe help it along the lines. Now I, I went over here and somewhere over here I spilled a little bit too. Not spilled. I put too much water, so I sopped it up and laid down more water. And you can see that it's a little more dry in some sections than others. So we're going to twirl our brush to get a nice point. And we're going to go just outside these areas and we're going to trace, draw, paint. If you haven't pre drawn it, don't worry about it. You can just do it by sight, by memory, create your own leaf, doesn't need to be maple. And we're going to do the edge because that will give us a nice crisp edge when we're done. It will fade. All the watercolor fades. Some fades a little more than others if it's not pigment based. Whew, what a difference when it's not pigment based. Um, so yes, this part you will be watching me. <laughs> Tedious part. But what I want you to see is how cool that water just moves. And then we may be able to just let it be and let the water kind of do its own thing, what it wants to do once it leaves our paintbrush. Now, if you see right there and here that there is a straight line, a hard edge, go ahead and tap some paint in there, help it along because we want to create some movement. We want to create a little more flow, um, not so much exact detail, even though I am somewhat of a precise painter, I do like it to flow. Gives it a better feeling. Now I'm gonna try and get the tip of my paintbrush in here because this is where I spilled a little too much water and it got outside of, of what I traced. And you all will have the drawing, this drawing, in an email so that you can trace that before class Friday. If you would like to do a different leaf, you can. Look up some other leaves if you already know one that you'd like to do, go ahead and do that. But we will be playing with the paint and seeing what happens when we add different colors to it. The color changes, how the flow of the water affects the paint. So whatever leaf you choose, you can even make one up. We will be doing this, the three effects that I'm going to show you today, three different ideas. Um, and possibly if I can remember as I'm painting, because you know how good I am at that. We'll also be doing um, three different kinds of vein veining so that has spread really nicely and what I want to do 
is go ahead, maybe get some of that red off, wash to keep the orange clean, rinse, and then go ahead and dip into, oh, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna do purple on this one. Well, too late. Then we're just gonna drip, drip, dab in some paint in different areas. If you spread it out, it can, uh, I don't know, create more interest. Who knows why we wouldn't? Well, we could. We could add blue to this. The only reason I wouldn't <laughs> is because that blue will be will work great in um, next to the red, but not so much next to the yellow because what will happen? Right. It'll turn purple, it'll turn brown. I'm gonna pull some more yellow in here over by the pink. And the reason I'm keeping my colors separate, a little more separate, is because I wanna, I can mix the red and pull it in here and I know I still have some true red over here. It's kind of a pink red, but we're calling it red. And then I'm just gonna dab, 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 dab this color in here. This might puddle too much and create a bloom, so I may go in and fix that. Actually, I may, maybe that's where I'll add some purple. Okay, so that's looking really good, and I think I will wipe off my brush and see if I tip this, what's gonna happen? All of these are gonna move over here, and I already have, I'm not gonna tip that just yet because I don't know I didn't see that till I picked up my paper, but I have a I had a big puddle right there. So maybe we'll just use this effect where it picks up. You see that color? Watch this. It soaks right into the brush. It like is drawn to the brush. Now I'm you'll watch me put in more color over here because I like color in the tips. It's going to give it some contrast that this will need so it doesn't look too flat. And you can, one nice effect is to kind of go along where you might have a vein, but the trick, the fun technique, I see this one drawing too much. The fun technique that I'm going to show you for veins, oh just go to the corner would ya, is this. We are going to use the other end of our brush on the pointiest part, and we're going to draw in, this is always the nervous part. The nervous part? This is the part that makes me nervous. You're gonna flick it at the end because you don't want it to just stop. So watch how I'm gonna take it over here and I'm gonna flick. Get over here and flick. What's going to happen is the paint is going to settle. Yes, I'm being a little whimsical. <laughs> I can't handle it. <laughs> the paint is going to settle in those little crevices. Now, if you want more definition, you can go ahead and draw some veins. You don't even have to connect them. If you want to skip it like I did right there, you can skip it. and just kind of take them to the tips. A little bit of realism, right? It can get to be too much, too busy, but boy, it, it's a nice effect. And then you don't have to worry about your painting, your lines, if you were to actually paint those in, this helps so much with that, the fear of the paint getting away from you. Now I'm gonna add a little water in here because I noticed it was doing a little bloomy thing I didn't want and I'm missing some paint here and I don't remember touching that. Actually, I can leave that because another Thing we're going to do on here 
is we're going to add salt. Not sure if it's wet enough, what areas are going to take to the salt. Probably should have done it a little sooner. So this one's kind of busy. Um, kind of cartoony, kind of busy, but we're gonna leave it and come back. Hopefully it'll be dry by the time we're finished with these, because I'd like to knock off that salt and maybe add some more color if that's possible. So let's move on to the bottom one here. I am going to blow it. Nope, not that way, <sighs> because I don't want it to go into my water. I have experimented with salt water painting before, but I can't remember what happened. Okay, so this one, we're gonna go ahead and lay the actual color on. So we're going to use this bright, bright, bright yellow. Go ahead and mix in your yellow paint with the drops of water we gave you. And it's just like a wash. So it's gonna be just, just like doing a wash, only you're gonna fill it in with color. And remember, if you wanna stay inside the lines you've drawn, oh, I went way out of my drawing. See, that's another reason I like to draw because I'll get carried away and I'll forget where I want my shape to be. <laughs> and even with my drawing, as you saw, I forgot. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know, I just wanna lay the color down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this color down and then we're going to actually, see my paint's already dry in the other areas. We're gonna actually pull in color as we paint. It's going to be mostly yellow with some green tip, I think. We're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. Pull in that color, but boy, are we getting dry. And that will leave hard edges. There we go. Okay. We are back in the game. Okay. So this did turn out more orange. But sometimes there are extenuating circumstances that tell you what you can and cannot do. And this is one of them. Working quickly because the weather is so wet. I mean dry. Sorry is so dry, so dry. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm gonna leave those white uh, marks there. I'm gonna push some orange into that area. And I'm gonna clean my brush and hope that I can remember to stay out of that orange over there. Okay, now remember, as long as you keep your edge wet, you will not have that hard edge show up. Sometimes I can be really tedious and careful with my painting, forgetting, especially the edges, forgetting that I can just come back later and paint outside those edges to line those up, to make them a little more precise or what I want. So think about that when you're painting. I was gonna put more pink in here, but boy, it makes me nervous that it's so dry. I don't, see, now I've lost my, my other point. So, let's see if I can pull some pink in here. See, again, I'm leaving that other area alone because I want, wee, I want to add in some straight red in, later on. I wonder what direction my point was intending to go. Well, it has decided it's going a new direction. Is that a name of a band? I can't remember. I think it's an 80s band. I don't know. Okay. Then you're gonna push your color. And so here, remember where I had that, it just, was just drying too fast? Well, sure enough, it's, it's putting up a good fight and it does not want to give. So we're gonna go ahead and leave those colors in there. Mix those in, see, it's not spreading. That's what's so weird. It's so, so, so dry, I can't get, and I was not intending on having another orange leaf, so whatever, right? I have an idea. 
Let's start some of this over. Maybe I can, oh, I dribbled over there. <laughs> It'll probably show, but not that big of a deal. Okay, now this will give us a chance to, I'm gonna go over here to the fresh yellow because you can see that the yellow mixed in with my orange. Because what I really wanted to do here was add some green. But this is gonna be an orangey greeny leaf instead of a bright, fresh yellow leaf. That's okay. That's okay. Just didn't want my, I didn't want to mix orange and green. I'm gonna add some aging effects anyway, so why not? And I'm gonna come back here and add more water because I sopped that up with my washcloth. And then now we'll mix that green. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see. Not that you need to, but you may want to. If I had a skinnier brush, uh, this isn't wet over here, so it's not going to, hmm, not very wet over here either, is it? Come on, guys, help me out. Maybe I'll skip around. What if we just skip around? That could turn out really nice. This is puddling, and that's not what I like either. Yeah, I think we'll do this. And we'll work that in. So we'll get a nice clean edge outside of wee, this yellow. And it's going to do something similar to what the red did. Which I really like. Hopefully that'll spread. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Oh, I do not have a steady hand today, tonight. Okay. I can't wait to get, see what you guys do always so different and so cool when I see all the different ways you guys interpret the project that we do. Hmm, I might, mm, I don't know, I was going to think about bringing some orange in there, but it's always already a really nice line right there. So I'm going to leave that. Sometimes your painting does tell you what it wants you to do. Now, I, I kind of don't want to fuss too, too much because I get myself in trouble when I fuss too much with my painting. So, of course, I pick this area that's very dry <laughs> to come over to. Ooh, but look at how nice and clean that green edge turned out. So I may save that. I may keep that. I kind of want to keep the same green intensity. Now I'm going to wipe off my brush because this is puddling a lot. A lot, a lot. And that will just, it won't allow the paint to settle. Now look what it's done here along the edges. It's done this really cool uh, orange, I almost said blue, orange outline. I really like that. And I just noticed something on the other side that I'm going to go soften right here. with some paint. Ooh, and mucky water, apparently. Oh yes, because I mixed it with orange. Didn't I just talk about that? And look at, I rubbed off the paint right there, but that's okay. That's cool. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm kind of thinking we, it's kind of calling for an orange color up here because it's already got that neat outline going. So let's put some orange in here that maybe 
-hmm. will turn more into a um, a brown color, which is good because the leaves are, it's fall. And so, let's see what will happen if I do this. It's fall, which means the leaves are turning brown. But we get to enjoy their pretty colors before they do. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing the color into the tip because it's just too much color out here in the middle. Hmm. I might have to drop a color in here. I wonder what would happen if we put green. Do you think I'm going to hate it? Mm. Maybe. Okay. And then the other thing you need to remember, I need to remember too, is the paint is going to dry lighter. So I don't remember if it was this color and then it turned to this. So I think I might need to leave that. I'm gonna turn it upside down and concentrate. Don't wanna to touch the red one. Let's get a nice clean tip right here. Okay, I like that. I don't like that one, but I think I'll like it when it dries. Okay. I'm gonna see if we can soften that area. And you'll notice, if you notice, I am using my um, wash water because I kinda want the um, orange color to mix in because it gives it more of a natural look. Oh, look at it go right in there, perfect. Okay, then I'm gonna spin it this way and maybe use yellow to draw it in here. Because I really didn't want to have an orange leaf. And I'm sorry I turned this into another tedious project, didn't I? Okay. Let's get rid of the bottle. Bub bottle? Bubble. There we go. Okay. Oh, I think we're close to being done with leaf number two. And leaf number two, what were we going to do with that? Let me get the brown to the bottom. Mm, yep, I've already messed up the notes I was taking to try and <laughs> do something different. Oh my goodness, I just can't. My brain doesn't function how it used to. That's the total truth. Okay, Let's turn it down, bring some brown into everything else. It's very different, isn't it? It's This is so different from the rest of it that um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this area over here a little more brown. Because it's so different from everything else. Oh, that's nice, I like that. I think I'm really happy I did that. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I like that, yay. Yay, so you never know. Just keep messing around. You never know. And then tone down that green. Bring in some age spots. Actually, I wonder what the bubbles will do if I just leave them. And then we'll put in some age over here. Definitely down here. And then I'm going to, we don't have a high enough contrast, but before we get going much further, I'm gonna go ahead and draw, oh gosh, my stem is way over here. I don't know how that happened. I'm gonna go ahead and draw in some veins. We're just gonna keep it simple. Let's just do them all the same instead of drawing them in. Well, maybe the next one I'll try and show you how to leave 
the vein out, which is kind of like a batik kind of effect, which I used to do and love. So maybe we'll try that. I only did one little guy right there. Oh well, that's all right. Okay, we're gonna call that and maybe add some yellow to blend the areas. And maybe we'll come back in and give it a little more contrast or not. Okay, so the last one we're going to do, I think we will make more, uh, oh, I don't know. You know what, let's just see what happens. <laughs> because it's not turning out how I planned. And so that's okay, because sometimes it's better to not plan. Oh, but what I am going to do because I do want them all to have salt. I kind of want them to all have the same, not all over, but just in areas. Okay, so let's start over here. It's also going to have a yellow base just to keep, I don't know, a nice similar look. So this one is going to be, you know, I'm gonna move these. I don't think you need to see my water. Anyway, um, I think we'll make this one yellow. We already did yellow, didn't we? But we already did pink and we already did green. We're gonna do yellow again. Ooh, yellow orange. Yellow orange green. I don't know. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know, I know, I know. Okay, we're gonna paint it all yellow. I know what we're gonna do. We're going to paint it all yellow. We may need another little spot of yellow. Actually, if I do this, you guys will see what I'm going to do. I think we're gonna do that batik kind of effect. Now, if I do the batik kind of effect, and I've already drawn in, which I have, I've sketched an idea of where I would like my, my veins, if we leave that area and paint around it, the problem is the pencil marks aren't going to erase, so those pencil marks are there. So what I'll try to remember to do, I get painting and I forget what my plan was. So not that you guys can tell, but um, we will, I will do my best to remember to actually paint on the line. We're going to do a glaze. So this one's going to have a glaze technique and we're going to glaze over some color so this one can be not, not super wet like it is right now. I don't know that it's super wet. But we're going to, and if I, if I mix this yellow in, as you can see on my palette, I'm getting kind of low. It looks like I might have to go into the orange, and I think that's okay because we're mixing all the colors, right? Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna have plenty. Oops, here comes some orangey. Oh, it barely shows. And then, Darn, I've got, oh dear, no, that's for, I was gonna say, oh no, is it salt? But it's a little, oh, there's one too. It's a little piece of fuzz. Mm -hmm. Wash, rinse, flip this in case it's on there, and dry, okay. Of course, now the trick is, I was going to glaze, oh. You know what we can do? Oh, guess what we haven't done at all? We have not done the stem at all. What? I mean, <laughs> what am I thinking? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna lay that right here. 
going to take the inside of my clean rag and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pat it because I should have done this first if I was thinking. It's still nice and yellow because we're going to do a glaze and what's under it is going to end up being the vein like the one I showed you that had just yellow veins and now we're going to do a glaze. So what we're going to do instead of doing it immediately right now is we're going to mix a little red. I'm going to go ahead and mix the red all together. You know, I was reserving that red for um, pure red and then I ended up not using it. So here's our brownish color for our stems. And ta-da! Ooh, it's still wet. I love when it's still wet because it helps carry the color of the stem into the leaf. Well, I kind of went out of those lines, but whatever. Ooh, I like that. I like how it... Ooh, I'm just going to leave that. I love that. What do you know? I love that. Now, I, I noticed there's a little piece of green right here I completely missed. I'm going to go ahead and paint that in. <laughs> because now the, the stem doesn't relate. The stem makes no sense. Now, the risk I run doing this is it may look nothing like the rest of the leaf. So let's find out if, if we can change that. Hmm, let's get this color. I don't know. I think if I move it over here, it's fine. Of course, then I gotta add it in here because it'll look too, too, too different. Of course, now I'm touching the salt, so let's wash and rinse, get that out of there. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll just put in some yellow. That looks good. Okay, so let's get this brown. See how nice that dark, dark, dark green looks? That's what we're going to do when we put in some age spots. I don't know what they're called. They're spots. The leaf is aging. They're age spots. Hello. Now I'm gonna add some green because I really like seeing different colors mixing in. And I really don't know what's going to happen to that, but we're just going to leave it. Let's see what happens. It does its own thing. Okay. So, remember how you wait? It's still pretty damp, but not horribly damp. It might be okay. Do we need clean? Ooh, you know what we could do? We could do the stem of this one, too, while we're at it. Because what do you bet I would forget that? Spin. Get a nice tip. Whee! I didn't even join it. Huh? What do you know? Kind of like that. <coughs> what, baby? You hungry? Hi. You want to say hi to my students? Oh, you're rude. Okay. So we're going to, oh, I don't want to do green. I think we are going to do a, I don't know what we're going to do, you guys. What? You didn't say hi. You need to go away. Time out. I think, um, I think I'm thinking of this too much. Okay. Not red, not green. I think it needs to be orange. So, ooh, here's a pretty orange. Let's just grab some of that red come over here and make this orange. So this is now orange. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and just go along the veins that I've already got and we're gonna go section by section. And I'm going to paint right on the vein. Ooh, I like when I skip. And then right next to it, like a line and a 
hopefully we can get it close enough that it won't look too purposeful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that should work. Kind of like this, kind of want to mix it up, but I don't want to go too crazy. So if you notice, I'm going to try and take it in sections. And then I went over that one, didn't I? Let's come in here. Okay. That may work. What if we put some red in here? That didn't change much, did it? That's putting some red in there. Okay. Actually, it's kind of, hmm, I kind of like that. Kind of like two sets of veins, which you know they don't have, but you go, what the heck? Why not? It's an alien leaf. That's what it is. Okay, then I'm going to take this section. And you know this has a vein too. So we'll go next to that one and just kind of make a, a hint of it and connect those sections. I just realized I'm leaning over my painting. I hope my head isn't in it. And I left that edge too dry for too long, so I hope I didn't mess up the color. This one's going to have a different look to it. It's kind of a batiki looking thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get rid of most of that. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some more orange. Boy, I kind of want to do a different section, but... I think I'm making too many veins. I am. I have too many veins. Let's just make that solid. No, nope, let's just do some of that. Oh, whatever. It's my leaf. It's my leaf. I can do what I wanna. There we go. And let's see if I have any yellow left. Of course, I said, let's see if I have any yellow left as I stuck it, stuck my red brush into the yellow. Okay. Not bad. And then this is a vein too. So. Now we just fill that in and hope that I didn't leave a hard edge. There we go. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to do a weird thing and put some green in here. Because this is too, um, it's too similar, you know? Too much of the same same going on. And if we put some green in here, which is not much green, is it? Now I've got a ton of green on my leaf, so maybe I'll mix it in a few more places because you really do want higher contrast here and there or or your leaf is just going to look too flat Let's sop that up and bring it in here Oop, that was the salt lid okay and now you know that that edge is going to be too um hard but be what you have to tell Quinn he's your feeder I know he's busy ask him to write you a song
Okay. Add a little water in here to, this color's really dark. All the colors are really dark. Now I'm just kind of scuffing up that edge to see if maybe I can get rid of the, the line I've created there. I'm gonna push that into there. There we go, okay. Ooh, that's nice. If it would just go a little further, like that. Now I'm happy. Soak that up. And let's get some, see if I can come back to the purer orange and get that in there. I'm trying to hide that um, pencil mark. Go fast, it's too dry to be slow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, just so you guys know, I paint with music but I can't record with music because I don't know what my rights are. I just put my hand in that salt. I don't know what my rights are as a non-money making, tutoring for fun person. I know they cracked down on children's programs recently on YouTube, so I don't wanna mess with that. You know? So I don't know what I can and can't do anymore. I think I want a little green in here. Ooh, I do. I do, I do, I do. Because, what is that bubble? Why do you follow me around, bubble? Ooh, I like that. If you pick it up and move it, it can soften those lines for you. That looks boring right there. Oh my goodness. And that darn line. Let's throw that in there. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Let's go back to orange. It looks like a some kind of <laughs> graphic-y kind of painting, doesn't it? I kind of want to throw, I want to change up the color. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make this now a more burnt orange color because this half has seen too much sun. It's got age spots and that's just life. So let's, I can't even see my drawing anymore. When I sit here and I hear that traffic going by, I just think, oh, it's the ocean. It's the ocean waves rolling in and out. I can make my own little piece of heaven, right? Till I get there. And realize it's nothing like my imagined piece of heaven. <laughs> now I want to put yellow in there and I don't have any. Oh, dear. I'm just being tedious. Okay, so let's get that pretty burnt orange color. Put some, I went on the wrong side. Lay down some more color. So that, that piece is gonna look very different and that's okay. Let's fill this in. Boy, the one that I thought was gonna be a little more simple has turned out to be tedious because oh, it's just not wet enough. 
because, um, just because, just trust me, just because. Okay, then I'm gonna try and maybe bring in some orange that I barely have. Just gonna fill it in. It just, it just makes sense to fill it in. Okay. Too monotonous. Monotonous? Yeah. Too monotonous. Nope, that's not the right. I want it more green. Do, 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 do. And then maybe that vein will look, will pop a little more. Okay, I'm gonna wash, rinse, and see if I can make another little orangey color because now this side won't be orange at all. And that could look kind of funny. You know, I go, oh, it doesn't matter. Who cares, right? And then you start doing it. It's like, oh, guess who cares? I do. I care. <laughs> so I'm going to make this nice and dark. There we go. And then I'm going to try and sneak in a vein while not touching the other side. My salty side. There. Okay. Oh, boy, do I wish I had some yellow. Again, what you're supposed to do is fill in the area you were just next to because I'm gonna get a hard edge right there, aren't I? Yep, I am. Oh, I went in the rinse water. Gosh darn it. I'm trying to hurry for you guys. And you're probably like, nah, it's okay, take your time. Ha, in my dreams. But I do wanna hurry because we only have so much time to get this done. No, I'm just talking the talk. Okay, let's paint. And I just went right over the line I was creating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's just let the veiny idea go and fill in these lines, fill in these spaces. Because um, well, that's kind of cool, huh? Be the reason is because it, it does get too tedious, and it's it just kind of takes the fun out of it, or can take the fun out of it. And I don't want to do that. So what I'm trying to do is exactly what happened. Awesome, is get the green down here in the tip. There we go. Because what we're not gonna do this time, because uh, just for time, is what I what I would do is I would put darker t dark colors on all the tips to help, you know, just give it some interest. Right now, I'm just gonna salt it in, and we don't this won't have any salt over here, unless. But you know what? We could tone down this color, couldn't we? How do we do that? We just add. A glazing layer of a darker color or it, its own color or a very watered-down version of that color and then maybe that will take on a cool salty effect as well so I'm gonna sap up the puddles and then I'm gonna put a little more salt over here just to see if it might pick it up or not. A really cool thing to do is to go over this again with um, a, uh, a little tiny dark edge. That's what this was for. I was just gonna put a little tiny dark edge in there, but we don't have time for that. So the other thing I wanted to do, what was I doing first? This one. We we're gonna do something in that one I've already forgotten um well, I'm gonna add green uh, is I wanted to show you how to create let me see if it's dry kinda oh nice you don't want to take the salt off if it's still wet because and always go into the painting in case it's still wet because the salt sucks up the color you can see that happening here the salt sucks up the color and so now you're 
risking if it's not dry, which these are, and they're kind of clustering. Um, I guess I'll vacuum. I'll just put this on the floor. <laughs> um, you, you're risking swooshing paint around. So this is plain, obviously. And so what we didn't do that we were going to come back and do is put in some darker um, moldy kind of areas. But what I'm going to do, oh gosh, I run the risk of, no, I'm not going to flick it. I was going to say, what I, what I was going to do was um, flick in some, but then you run the risk of um, it going outside. And we can do that. If you want to flick, we can flick. I have an idea that I'm going to show you. Let's bring in some age up here. I flicked it, didn't I? And I want to run an outline on here, but I'm not going to. Because I'm going to show you. No, that'll dilute it. Well, I'm going to show you anyway. So another thing you can do is you can take another piece of paper and a squirt bottle, cover up the other leaves where you just It's already dry and wet it a little bit. And that just helps soften it. Of course, you can just do a liquidy, see it might be coming over there. You can just do a really wet liquidy color, but I like what that does. I think, I think I'm going to add a little darker color also because it's kind of cartoony so I want to mess it get a little messy I, don't, I almost did it there on the edge and I'm not going to because I think it's leaking out so because it's pretty close to the edge there like right there and you don't want it to leak out it is pretty wet right here took care of that so maybe I'll take care of this yeah, that looks good. Okay, now this is still wet. We can't, we, can't, we don't want to fuss with that. Um, but what I do want to show you is if you take, let's wash and rinse. You don't need to do this. We can actually, we can actually say we're done right here. And you can take your extra color and kind of flick in some color if you would like. But also, that was, that was getting runny. So I'm gonna do this because normally you would wait, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, and this is why. We're going to wet our brush, swirl it in some blue, take our little protective piece of paper again, and this is where the quote unquote sky comes in. And we're going to, don't get weird, we're gonna, do this. I thought it was going to be more liquidy, but I did this on one of my other ones. I'll bring it to class. I'll show you. <laughs> I'm getting it all over my table. I'll show you the one I did for class. This is like the fifth time I recorded because um, my camera kept running out of memory or something. Okay, the reason you, you're risking it if you do what I'm doing right now is because you might accidentally flick it on the leaf. But I'm going to on purpose put a couple dots in here because it didn't travel to here. Because, watch what I'm gonna do. This may turn out, it may not, but Joshua, oh, I called out a student. But you might like it and then you get something that's like a sky, like a background. And I thought of Joshua when I was, when I came across this idea accidentally, accidentally. That's what you risk right there. But let me show you how cool this can be, especially if you wait for it to be dry, which I'm not going to. 
we don't have that luxury, do we? You could do this at home, though. I'm risking it. Oh, oh, cool. You're just trying to get water on those dots. You can let that do its thing. You can watch where it goes in relation to your leaves to make sure it doesn't run into the color part. You can rinse, wash your brush and say, I don't want you on my stem and just kind of move it to other parts. Now I'm gonna make a, a very hard edge now on accident because I wasn't thinking because I got excited. Here, if I don't get it off the paper or just let it do its thing, you know, and let it move. So I'm gonna do this and show you what happens with that. The other thing you can do is just make it really wet and let it go a few directions. What it's going to do is it's going to start curling. Not hurling, curling. There. And then you just kind of move it. I wish you could see what I'm doing, but you can kind of tell, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> and then if it's really thick in some areas or even just on the leaf and you don't want it on the leaf, spray it, spray it, get it off. And then let it drip, take it up, wipe off your table to set it down again. Being wet on the back is not gonna hurt it at all. It goes like this and then you can just let it I kind of like that there are still, not that. <laughs> I kind of like that there are still um, some darker areas on here where the, like here, where the water stopped. I don't like this drip. Actually, you know what? You could just do that, a clean spot on your rag. So what if there was salt there, right? To get it off if you want to. This one actually dripped, my leaf dripped look at that oh my gosh okay i've never had such an easy save in my history of watercolor um you can get more water and go ahead and put it in those wet areas if you want to and then let it travel but you're not going to have that um cloud type look unless you get it really wet and actually if we if i knew where my sponges were i just cleaned up my art area you could like with a sponge move it in different directions and move your paint that way so I'm just gonna leave it we're just gonna call it what it is you can tell that the pigment rested in here and I didn't um, mix it all that well before doing this because it left marks you can put water paint back over that if you want to but you don't need to so we are going to call this done we're gonna call it our project we're going to do this Friday and I'm gonna get out of my seat and see how much time this was and if it's too long you guys pick one leaf you can do one big leaf and just do one of these effects on it I was going to go over this one since you're still here <laughs> since you're still here I was going to go over this and make it more yellow so it didn't look so batiky, and that will help. Now I can't use this brush again on something else or use this paint again because it's got salt on it. And salt does weird things to pigments and paints and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and I like that better already. I do love batik, it's one of my favorite things, but, but batik isn't watercolor, you know what I'm saying? So I like that better. And you can add more color, it doesn't matter. However, whatever you wanna do. So we're gonna call it, and I hope you like it. I will see you Friday.